Hello friends, welcome to the Fundamental Pharmacy. Today we are going to discuss about the tablet excipients, particularly multiple purpose tablet excipients. So let's welcome some multiple use excipient for the tablet. Today we are going to discuss about the multiply used excipient for the tablet. Some excipients are used as a binders as well as disintegrant agent as well as tablet excipient. So we are going to discuss about that. So let's start. First one is ethyl cellulose. Ethyl cellulose is used as a binding agent as well as it is an excipient for control release coating. Okay, so it is used in one to three percent. Then glyceryl palmetto stearate. Second one is glyceryl palmetto stearate. It is used as a lubricant as well as control release excipient. Okay, next one is HPMC. That is hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. Hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. It is used as a dry or wet binder. Then it is also used in the film coating. It is also used in the control release formulation. Okay, remember this HPMC. This is important. Last year, the question was there in the GPA 2019. What is the uh, H HPMC is mostly used as a film former former. Okay, so next next important excipient is magnesium aluminium silicate. Okay, it is also concentration of two to ten percent. Okay, next one is microcrystalline cellulose. Microcrystalline cellulose. So it is, it is also used as a glidant, anti-adherent, disintegrant, binder, and it can improve the adhesion of film, film coat to the core. That means it is also used in coating multiple. Co Next one is polyethylene glycol. Next one is polyethylene glycol. So polyethylene glycol is used as a lubricant as well as thermoplastic filler or binder. Then it is also a ingredient of contour release excipient. Okay. So next one is polymethy polymethylate polymethylate polymethylate. It is an acrylate derivative. That is polymethylate. It is used as a film former and control release excipient. Next one is poly polyvinyl pyrrolidone, or it is also known as povidone, or we can call it as a PVB. Polyvinyl pyrrolidone. That is povidone. It is used as a weight weight binder. Then it is in the coating excipient. Then it is disintegrant. Then it is also a member of control release excipient. Okay. So next one is starch. So starch starch is used as a binder disintegrant. Then in case of weight binding, or it is also used as a disintegrant. So these are the percentage. Next important point is super disintegrants. So super disintegrant is nothing but the disintegrating agent. These are the disintegrating agent only. They will act as a super disintegrant. They are mostly used in dispersible tablet or fast dissolving tablets. So here are some examples of super disintegrants. So they, uh, we have here four columns: trade names, nature, then mechanism and comment. So first one is uh, cross caramelose, then acetosol, then primelose, and then sugar tap. So these four four consist of cross caramel cross linked cellulose. So these are the derivative of cross linked cellulose. First one is cross caramelose. So cross caramelose is cross cell derivative of cellulose. So what is the mechanism involved of disintegration? The cross caramelose will swell. Four to eight times when it come come in contact with water in less than ten second. That means it is a super disintegrant. Okay, so it is a bi bidirectional. It involves the bi bidirectional. Next one is acetosol. Acetosol. Next one is acetosol. It is also cross linked cellulose. What is the mechanism? Swelling and waking. It is directly compressible. It is also directly compressible. That is acetosol. The next one is Primulose and sugar tap. Okay, primulose is a starch free. Primulose is a starch free. Okay, remember this. These are the cross linked cellulose derivative used as a super disintegrants. First one is cross caramelose. Second one is second one is acetosol. 
third one is primulose fourth one is sugar tap these are the cross linked cellulose derivative uh, used as a super disinti so next one is cross povidone and colidone cross povidone and colidone these are the derivative of polyvinyl pyridone so the nature of these uh, two super disintegrants are cross linked polyvinyl pyridone okay so mechanism involved is swelling but due to capillary reaction they will swell due to capillary reaction when they will come in contact with water and they will brush the tablet that means they are super disintegrants so these are water insoluble spongy in nature and we can get a porous tablet after using them as a disintegrant okay so cross povidone and colidone these are the two example of cross linked polyvinyl pyridone super disintegrants okay so next one is starch derivative cross linked starch like sodium starch glycolate then exportab then primogel okay these three sodium starch glycolate exportab and primogel these are the cross linked starches used as a super disintegrants the mechanism is swelling they will swell when they will come in contact with water they will swell up to 7 to 12 times more than original original volume or original weight then they can swell they can swell 7 to 12 times in less than 30 second that's why they are super disintegrants swelling in all in this super disintegrant are three dimensional and because of that they will serve as a matrix for sustained release formulation next one is alginic acid alginic acid is cross linked alginic acid what is the mechanism of uh, involved in the disintegration rapid swelling swelling in aqueous medium it will swell rapidly in aqueous medium when it will come in contact with water so it is used for dry and wet granulation both type of granulation and uh, it promote the disintegration okay then next one is soya polysaccharide natural which is known as natural super disintegrant remember this natural super disintegrant so soya soya polysaccharide is a natural super disintegrant and does not contain any any amount of starch it does not contain any amount of starch soya polysaccharide which is known as super disintegrant natural super disintegrant okay so next one is calcium silicate okay calcium concentration used is 20 to 40% 20 to 40% concentration we have to use in case of calcium silicate if we are going to use as a super disintegrant okay so these are the summary of different type of multiply used excipients and different super disintegrants used in tablet manufacturing okay very much for watching this video the video share with your friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon okay so if you want these kind of notes you can contact me on this number directly you can call me or you can whatsapp me on this